Hey guys, thanks for coming back for this extra special tip on predicting the future. It's an actual superpower. And there's, there's two things you need. The first thing you kind of know, it's, it's practice. You got to practice. When you drive a car long enough, you just know instinctively that that joker is going to pull out. That that cat's going to run in the... You just know those things because you've done it so many times. When you've played the piano for 50 years, you kind of know what that note is going to sound like before you even press it. And anything you do in sales, it, it, I, I consider myself a master sales player. I, in two seconds, I could find out what's going to happen. I don't think about what I'm going to say. I know what to say to create the right feeling just from doing it many times. But that's step one. The tool that you need that everybody needs to do to speed up this process of prediction is keeping track. You could do it with something as simple as a little notebook. I have a little notebook after, to, after anything happens. At the end of the day, I write, I write a page a day about what happened the day before. Nothing big. A page a day, and then you read it at the end of the week. I remember one time I read this thing after I was in a particularly uh, contentious fight with with a customer or a client or something. And I was eventually going to give in. I was, it was to the point where I'm like, all right, you can have it. But instead of just saying, letting the person finish, I said the two words that I've learned never ever to say. And they are these, calm down. <laughs> if you want someone to get furiously mad at you, just say those two words. So I wrote it in my little book about five years ago. Never say calm down. And I haven't since. You see, you can predict what people are going to do when you do it long enough and you keep track. And that's what you need to do to become a master at whatever it is you do.